Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Wild World. Where we left off, we didn't really have a whole lot going on aside from that interesting glitch that happened with my mother pretending to be Lyle for some reason. <laughs> and tonight is KK Sliders Night. Oh! It is still the frickin' flea market, huh? It just doesn't want to end. Alright, whatever. We're gonna get our next song. And I'm- Oh, hello! Alright, the stuff that I ordered. Okay, cool. I didn't think I would get them today. Alright. We're gonna open these. Might as well get them out of the way. I gotta take care of this fast, though. Okay. I'll put the thing over here. No, not the hearth, the tea table. And I'll place Pecan's portrait on top of it. There we go. Move it right there. And I think the hearth will go right in the middle. Yeah, I think that makes it look a little nicer. Let's get a nice zoom in on this thing. I don't even know what this is or what the purpose is, but it looks cool. It's Japanese. <laughs> uh, yeah, we'll leave the sword behind the screen here because I think that makes it look cooler. Alrighty, well, let's get back to work, let's see what we can find and do today. I'm probably just going to go back to fishing. For now, I will be heading on over to the museum. There's no way I was getting that fish out. It was insufficient. I'm sorry. <laughs> Alright. KK slider time. You know it. Ooh, yeah. Our song is a new one, and I was surprised to learn, oh my god, there's no period, really, when I capitalized, it's so annoying. <laughs> I was surprised to discover that there is not only just one song based on New Orleans, but two. Because this song is Dixie, KK Dixie. And from what I've been, read online, it seems to be heavily inspired by Louis Armstrong's, uh, I believe it's called When the Saints Go Home, or something like that. So I'm looking forward to this rendition, because I love culture in New Orleans. This is far out, get ready to groove to K.K. Dixie.
That was dope, dude. Alright, give me a second. I am totally not distracted by Pokemon Sleep. <laughs> Yeah, I've just got to feed my Snorlax here. Gonna give him some apple juice. Alright. Let's go. Let's go blast this song in the house. And listen to this banger on the air check. Once we get all the new songs, I'm just gonna, you know, uh, why am I going here? I did not mean to go back here. As soon as we get all the songs that we, like all the new songs here and the songs we're gonna get in GameCube, I am just going to immediately get KK Western. Cause that song that song is still a banger. I mean I like Steep Hill. It's actually pretty underrated. Pears Get out of my house. I didn't want to leave. I wanted to change my song. But no, they just have to be stupid. Okay, let's hurry up and get the song. But yeah, I like Steep Hill. It's surprisingly underrated. But let's get KK Dixie. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh my goodness. Ah, screw it. They're just gonna keep harassing me. Yeah, get out of my house. <laughs> get the fuck out. I don't want to talk to you. Screw it. You could. We'll just listen to it Sunday. Because, oh my god. I'm getting so annoyed. <laughs> it is irritating the shit out of me. Like, I just. I just want. To hear the new song. But, for fuck's sake, they are just. Interrupting me. Like, can I just. It would be really nice if, you know, I could have a sign that says, I'm not selling anything. Or whatever, just let people know that I'm not selling anything in the house. So I don't have any visitors, you know? Because, oh my god, it gets so fucking annoying. <laughs> anyway, Joey, you want to hang out? You weren't annoying. You want to talk? What would you say is the distance between our hearts? I guess around here. No, I don't want to smell like tomato soup. <laughs> That's a terrible idea. Assholes. <laughs> Just... Barging in... Without consent. Just because I'm in my house doesn't mean I want to sell anything. <laughs> okay? Jesus.
Okay. Wait, really? Oh, right, the shells. Okay. Well, let's go sell them. Ah, uh, they are just... It is so annoying, dude. All I want is to be able to fish in peace. Well, not just... Well, why, why am I saying that? All I want is to be able to show off my house in peace without, you know, getting rudely interrupted and being all like, Hey, I want to buy something. And I'm like, no. <laughs> you know? I, I don't want to do that at all. I just want... <laughs> I just wanted to hear my music, bro. Then you have to butt in. I don't want you in the house. <sighs> At some point I gotta get another radio. Like another stereo to play in the second floor. So I gotta look for that, but I also need to make sure that it's one that, uh... You know, I gotta make sure it's a radio that's not part of another series or set. So that way, I don't mess up my HRA score. Alright, well, we're gonna fish for a while. If I could just, you know, not have things get in the way. Oh. Will you please stop going away from me? I want you. <laughs> Thank you. Ah, crap. <clears throat> you can shove this boot right up your ass, okay? I don't need that stinking up my inventory. Okay, dude. Okay, there's a chance that I could get a large jar. The odds of that are slim, but it's there. Hey, Ruby! You must be so lonely up here. You don't really have any friends to speak of. Or neighbors, I mean. Yeah, I'm visiting you. Asher and Pierce. Those two? Are they keeping a safe distance from each other? What does that mean? <laughs> are they going to tear each other's heads off? Or what, what do you mean by that? I don't get it, but okay. What do we got over here? A fish that is not paying attention. And now it's been... <laughs> As I say it, it just bites and dips, and I hate that so much. Why does that happen? Why the hell does it do that? And are you... Okay, this has got to be a valuable fish, because it is being really stupid. It is... Oh my god. That was so annoying, dude. Why did it behave that way, man? It was 
was just being annoying at that point. I'm not even going to bother with you. Oh, Bones is in his house. Oh wait, no, it's still the flea market. Uh, great, I can't talk to my friends now. I think the flea market has officially become my least favorite in the game because it doesn't I'm not really like interacting with it it's kind of boring well not boring it's just it's not really what I want to do to benefit from it, you know At least the octopus came back to me. Hey Joey, you want an octopus? <laughs> Maybe you'd like to take my boot. <laughs> I see I thought I saw baby fish. I don't think baby fish are gonna be very helpful for me now. What, what the hell What? I um I might be crazy and I am, but I swear to god, I did not see that sand dollar there. Did it just... spawn right in front of me? I'd have to look back in the video, but... That... That kind of tripped me up there. <laughs> it didn't... I, I did not see a sand dollar down there. Like, look at that. I can't even see it there. But when I go up here, like when I throw it, I can see it perfectly fine. Like, what the hell is that rendering? Like, for real, what the hell is that type of rendering there, dude? It makes no sense. It's so dumb. Ah, but I digress. Hold on, can I... There we go. Yeah. Chop of my lure, baby. Okay, we got a dab. Hi again, bunny. I think that might be just about everything I'll do today. How much inventory do I got? Yeah, I think I'll try my luck with one more fish. If I spot one. That is a big boy! And it is probably going under that fucking bridge again, not on my watch. <sighs> not this time. Not 
not when I have anything to say about it. Now then. We're gonna journey forth. Unless I see anything in the beach that would be worth trying to get. And it's kind of stupid, so maybe there's some value. It seemed a little stupid, I don't know. Aha! Alright. I, I didn't know if that was a red snapper shadow or not. I thought it would have been like an olive flounder. Or whatever. Because it was behaving a little stupidly. One thing I've learned is that if a fish has like no depth perception whatsoever, chances are it has value. <laughs> that is the one thing I've learned in this series. Lacking depth perception? It's gotta be good. <laughs> Alright. Take my fish and boot. And of course my shells. Yep. We are done, so we're gonna go ahead and call it a part. Next time on Wild World, we will be back tomorrow, where we shall get our, uh, begin the new week and get some turnips. I'll see you guys then.